Well, today, Athens City Schools is hosting its Special Olympics. That's right, and after a four-year hiatus due to the pandemic, students are ready to show off their skills. News 19's Mariah Wiggs joins us now ahead of the big event. Good morning, Stephen Lauren. It's an exciting day here at Athens Stadium. We finally got some action going on behind me. They're starting to set up for the day because in a couple of hours it's going to be packed with with athletes ranging from four year eight years old to adults for the Athens Limestone County Track and Field Special Olympics. Now, like you said, Steve, this is the first time Athens City School will be hosting the event since 2019. Several schools across Limestone County and the Bertie Thornton Center in Athens will be celebrating, bringing about 100 athletes. Events include the 50 meter walk and run, the 100 meter walk and run, numerous relays, long jump, mini javelin, and more. What's really cool is the athletes have the opportunity to participate in the state competition in Troy later on this year. Jessica Lynn is the exceptional services coordinator with Athens City Schools, and she tells me they're prepared to make all participants comfortable so they can can do their best. We have lots of fun activities planned, even outside of the track and field events. Um, we're going to have a sensory uh, van on site, so students who may need to take a sensory break during the day, um, they have a place that they can go. Also, all of our athletes will have a buddy, um, so some of our school clubs um, some of their members have partnered and buddied up with all of our athletes, and so they'll have a buddy that can take them to each of their events tomorrow and just have a fun day together with them. Now, opening ceremonies are set to begin at 9 this morning. Stick around. We'll have a closer look at all the action. But for now, reporting live in Athens, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.